A special visitor to a reading session. Tishan is accompanied by her owners, volunteers Kath and Wendy. The idea is that children who lack confidence reading aloud in class find it much easier if they're reading to a dog. It eases any pressure they may feel and reduces their anxiety. Lanny was at the back because the zip on his anorak had stuck. I like reading to Tishan because she listens and she listens to the story and me. She really listens and closes her eyes and relaxes. I can at least see two children per group that I know would not read to me openly. When they come in, they don't even see me. They don't see Kath and Wendy. All they see is the dog. All therapy dogs must pass an assessment to show they have the right temperament for the job. And it's not just the children who look forward to the visits. As we pull up to the school, there's great excitement. The tail wags. Yes, she, knows. she really enjoys it. Wendy, who's deaf, now also volunteers teaching sign language at the school too. And as for Titian, there's been research to show she really can make a difference. There is scientific evidence to back up that uh, touching and being in the presence of, a, of an animal will actually reduce your uh, anxiety levels. Titian has helped with attendance too. You find it quite difficult sometimes coming into school, don't you? Yes. So what have you found that has helped you make you come into school easier? Tishan. So you are now Tishan's assistant. Mm -hmm. And Jude, what is it that you like about being with Tishan? She helps me when I'm sad. How does she help you when you're feeling sad? What does she do? She touch me. She touches you? <laughs> Like many charities, Pets as Therapy has struggled during the pandemic. It's had to lose staff. But despite the difficulties, they're looking to sign up more four-legged volunteers. And it looks like someone is already showing interest.